Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels this morning. Today is May 10th of 2023 and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord today. I apologize for any background noise in this video today and I will make every effort to speak clearly so that these noises do not distract. This word today is quite lengthy and so I won't spend time with an introduction except to say that we serve a loving Heavenly Father and the Lord is letting us know how great the power of His love is. This word today is titled the power of God's love. I'll begin by reading scripture. John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world, and he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. This scripture verse, of course, speaks of the greatest demonstration of God's love. He gave his son Jesus to die for the sins of the world. Romans 5 verse 5 And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. This scripture verse speaks of the love God has poured into our hearts as believers in Him. I'll begin reading this word. The waters of my spirit are roaring, says the Lord. They are covering the earth and the level is rising. The works of the flesh are being exposed. They are being washed up to the surface and being recognized as dross that needs to be skimmed off. As the impurities float up to the surface and as they are skimmed off, the bride of Christ is being purified, made holy, and is coming into the fullness of the Lord. Allow the Lord to wash up the impurities. Allow the Holy Spirit to dig down deeply into your heart and mind and soul and loosen up the roots of bitterness and judgment against your brothers. Allow the Lord to sever the rootlets and pull up the root. Do not hold on to it but let it go. Rejoice in the work the Lord is doing within you. Rejoice in His grace and mercy, for it is because of His great mercy that He wants to set you free and release you into the fullness of the sons of God. The tide is turning, says the Lord, and I am doing a new thing in the earth. I am putting my love into my servants and sending them out to bring my love to the lost, the lonely, the needy, the hurting, those with no hope. My servants shall bring life to these. They shall impart to these what has been given to them. They shall lay hands on these, and they shall be healed and released into life. Those who receive my messengers and the life they bring will be girded up, and the chains that abound them shall be cut loose, and they shall be set free, says the Lord. For in this day I am bringing sight to the blind and releasing those who have been held in captivity. Those who have been without hope will be given hope, for they shall see the Father above loves them, and that the promises of God are for them. They will rejoice in this day like calves released from the stall, for every chain, every bondage, every fetter, everything that has held them bound shall be broken off, and they shall be set free. I have come that they might have life 
And in this day I am bringing my life to the nations, says the Lord. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. So wait upon the Lord, and you will be strengthened with his might to go forth in the power and strength of the Lord. Look not to the left or to the right, but look to him who is able to keep you from falling and from stumbling. He will give his angels charge over you, and you will not dash your foot against a stone, for the angels shall gird you up. So wait upon him, my children, and do not be anxious for anything. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of your heavenly Father, that you wait upon him and trust in him to accomplish all he says he will do. For he cannot lie, and he will do everything he has promised. His promises are yes and amen. So look to him. I am taking you in, says the Lord. You shall go forth in my power and anointing. The way is being made ready, and the army of the Lord shall go forth to storm the gates of hell, to pluck those out who have walked in darkness. Do not be misled, but keep your heart and mind stayed on me. Do not be distracted but press in. The roadway is being cleared of debris, and the wind of the Spirit is picking up speed. It will go forth before my people, and blow away everything that is in the way. Every hindrance is about to be removed. Every work of the enemy is about to be broken to pieces. Every web of strategy will be blown apart, and the enemy will be thrown into confusion. For the glory of the Lord will come, and all flesh shall tremble before the Lord. Every knee will bow at the name of Jesus, for the name of the Lord shall go forth with power, and every enemy will be put under his feet. I am equipping my people to be strong in the Lord and in the power of my might. I am equipping them with a heart of love for the lost. The love of God is being released into them, and they shall go forth in the power of my love, says the Lord, and reach out and touch those who are hurting with the touch of the Lord, and those being touched will be healed and changed, for the power of my love shall be poured out upon them, and it shall bring healing and wholeness. Delight yourself in me, my children. Rejoice in the Lord your God. Come into the secret place and sup with the Father and Son. In the quiet place you will be strengthened and changed. You will be filled with the Father's love and go out from the secret place with the love of God radiating from you. You will not be rejected and rebuked, but you will be received by those you are sent to, and you will marvel as you see those to whom you go receive what you have been sent to give. Enter into the secret place. Receive the impartation of the Holy Spirit. Receive the Father's heart of love for the lost. Come and receive the portion set for you. Eat of me and drink of me, for I am the bread of life, and the water I have for you will satisfy. I am that which has been broken for the nations. I am the complete sacrifice for the sin of all mankind. I am the one who was broken and bruised. I shed my blood for a complete remission of sin. I am the one, says the Lord. There is no other. Look to me. I will give you life. In this word today, 
the Heavenly Father is inviting us into the secret place, into that place of intimacy with Him, so that we may be filled to capacity with His love, with His power, with His anointing, so that we can go and give it out to those who need to be healed and set free. God's love is powerful. It is able to heal, to forgive, to transform lives, and to give life. We are being called as God's messengers to bring this good news to the lost. And the Lord wants to empower all of us to release his love to others. This word today encourages us that God loves us as his children, but that he also loves everyone in the world. And Jesus died for the remission of sin for the whole world. This is a message too great to be kept to ourselves. I pray the Lord will release us as his people with the power of his love and the anointing to set the captives free. I hope this word today will bless you and encourage you and cause you to be motivated to meet with the Lord in that secret place, to receive all he has for you so that you have much to give to others. May the Lord bless us all as we seek to do His will. All glory and honor belong to Him. Thank you for listening today. Have a great afternoon, and we'll see you again in the next video. Love and blessings in the name of the Lord. Bye for now.